On ABT, Paulie has some friends he'd like to talk to for us. Paulie? Today, uh, I'm back again. Uh, Nick, seeing you uh, here, it looks like you're going to be one of the referees tonight. I might. Uh, I would like to know uh, if you could just alliterate a little bit about your boxing career and some of the great fights that you had. Well, I had a few good fights in my time. I boxed along with you too. We both helped each other out boxing. In 1959, I was doing a lightweight champ for six months. I beat a kid from Claremont, New Hampshire, Tommy Garrow, who had beaten Tommy Tibbs who had over 400 pro fights at one time. Since then, he's gone. In the meantime, I had beaten Garrow twice, and I lost to Tibbs at the Garden. It was like a round robin. Garrow beat Tibbs, Tibbs beat Prevdy, and Prevdy beat Garrow. I remember those fights, and they were great fights, and they'll never be forgotten. Well, Paulie, and, you got a record that no one's going to beat. What's that? You had 10 knockouts in 10 and a half minutes. Oh, I forgot that. Jeez, I, did, I do hold a record, don't I? That's right. But, but the opponents weren't as great as the opponents you fought. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> We all found some good boys. Uh, it's nice seeing you here and seeing you're still part of boxing, uh, Nicky, and uh, and you're a credit to boxing and, and, and to refereeing. You know, I got my friend here, Bill Connolly, who's been a boxer over 50 years. I used to work out at his gym at Connolly's Gym in South Boston. Right now he's the vice president of the Amateur Boxing Association. I'm the chief of officials, and I'd like you to join the organization, become a judge or referee, maybe, and we could do something. I'd be very honored to do that. You know, Keep something I, going. I just want to know that you allow bald-headed guys in this, I know. Bald is beautiful. Well, Mr. Connolly, I'd I'd like to know if you could say a few words and yeah, about I, the I'd boxing. I'd really like to because I'm standing with one of my best friends, Mr. Pobiti, and I was elected vice president of the New England Amateur Boxing Association in uh, July and uh, for the next two years. And I've been with amateur boxing and professional boxing since 1936. And the only thing I can claim is that in 1943 I was junior welterweight champion in the U.S. Army. Uh, my cousin Paul Pender was uh, he, he did very well. He became the middleweight champion of the world and I and I see Here tonight in the gathering a gentleman that trained me when I went to high school Mr. Ray McPeck who just showed me a medal where he had to fight three times in 1937 to be the New England middleweight champion and now we hardly let the kids fight once and we're talking about working the kids hard we, we're kind of going easy on them compared to the days that we were involved. But I think amateur boxing is great. I'm with it because I love it. It keeps me alive. I got to keep moving. I can't stay still. So I've been with it. I, uh, I do everything I possibly can. I put their ad book together every year and I do every other function that I can possibly get in. A, and it, it keeps me going. It keeps me alive. I'm very happy doing it. I, I'm happy to be here tonight. No matter what the strain is, I love it. I can't quit. Well, and as I say, I got my buddy. If I didn't have this guy with me, this is my right arm. There's nothing I ask him that he doesn't do for me. And we, we understand each other pretty well. We can level with each other. That's a big thing. I can believe him and he can believe me. And we're both great for boxing. Thank you. I, uh, I, I, will, I will second that motion. And, you know, I think everybody would like uh, the guy next to you, Nick Favetti, as a right hand because he would be a good right hand for anybody. And you know, incidentally, if I can inject one thing, talking to you, Mr. Stibaletta is a guy here that helped me on a tremendous sports night we had. I can't even think of the year. It's probably 20 years ago at St. Bernadette's in Randolph. That's, That's right. right. We yeah. had everybody that was anybody in the sports game there. That's right. Not only boxers, football players, yeah. hockey players, yeah, basketball players, you name it. It was the greatest sports night I ever attended. And right. I thank you, Paul, for being there that night. Uh, and I'd like, th like to thank you for having me. Uh, and I'd like to, to thank you for the great speech you just made tonight well, about about boxing, all. because without, without guys like you, there wouldn't be any boxing. To dedicate their time to these young kids, make sure that there's places for them to fight, and they're setting up the program to, as good as you do. It's such a credit. But you know, you don't get your names up in lights, and this, people don't know don't. all behind the scenes how tough it is to set up rings and right. try to promote these fights. And we should get a little play in those things well, for you no. people. But it's you people who, like you say, are fighters, and we'll keep fighting for the younger crowd to give them the opportunity that you had, and Nick had, we're and missing, I had. We're missing one guy tonight, our president, who was very sick, yeah. Jim Forio. He's the president of the amateur boxing. He's been in the hospital. He's at the uh, Goddard Hospital. We were just praying that he'd be all right and come back to help us. And too bad he isn't here tonight. That's nice you mentioned that. I think yeah. we all can say God bless him. That's and, right. we, and we hope he'll be back. Thank you. Thank you.